Peace up about it was good. It's up by Coach Malachi Williams, and you are now tuned to True Media Boxing Radio. Let's go. For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble. All right, everybody, check this out. Um, I'm listening to, actually, I was reading an article you know, uh, uh, by Frank Warren. And Frank Warren said that um, Deontay's Wilder uh, manager, Shelly Finkel, manager and advisor, told him that the, the reason why Deontay Wilder did not perform good against Joseph Parker, the same guy that Anthony Joshua beat, and um, Odizana Usyk, I think a couple of people beat him. He, he got like three losses. Um, uh, the reason why he didn't perform well was because Deontay Wilder stayed in the cryo chamber what they call it, the cryo chamber or the iso chamber or whatever the case may be, too long. And basically, this is something that um, it's like a chamber that's cold and it's supposed to help your body heal fast from recovery, right? Help you heal, help you recover faster. I think it's called the cryo chamber or something of that sort. You can't make this up. So basically, the reason why Deontay Wilder fought the way he always fought, you know, on the ropes with his arms spread out, doing like this here, hitting people on top of the head with the hammer punch, swinging windmill punches, and crossing his legs while moving laterally from left to right. The cryo chamber, he stayed in it too long, according to what um, Shelly Finkel was saying. He stayed in it too long. And uh, like this, like, bro, like, why, sometimes, like, why you just can't take the L? Now, of course, Wilder didn't say this, but the thing is, is, you know, he's known for making excuses. Him and his followers, him and his Fans, not all of them, but some of them. There's a strong group online, better known as the Wakandas from the Alphabet Boy community with their leader, Jabba the Hutt. Like, they're known for making excuses. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, dude, you ain't making Wilder look good at all by saying this. And I hope Wilder don't bite the cheese like he bit the cheese last time and start making excuses. So now we heard it all. We don't went from egg weights, you know, we don't went from glove gate to water bottle gate to costume gate to crab in the bucket referee gate. We don't went through all of that just to have him because he lost to Joseph Parker. He literally lost 12 rounds. Maybe you can give him one if that. And um, I don't know how many punches he landed, but I heard he didn't land a lot. You get what I'm saying? So, like, this this doesn't do Deontay Wilder any justice. Now, Wilder's probably, it wouldn't surprise me if he was to come out, come back out and say, yeah, man, you know, I hope Wilder, I hope you say no excuses. I ain't got no excuses. Because you always have an excuse. You and your fans always have an excuse. There's no such thing as accountability when it comes to you guys. It's always an excuse. If I lose, it's the white man's fault. If I lose, it's the referee. If I lose, it's the costume. If I lose, it's the egg weights. If I lose it because I was twerking. If I lose it because I was pregnant. If I lose it because of the, of the crab in the bucket referee. If I lose, it's because it's the Nevada you know, Athletic Commission. It's all. If I lose, it's never your fault. It's always an excuse for why this guy loses. And it makes him look bad. Did you get what I'm saying? So I saw that to say this, man. Listen, man. Cryo chamber, whatever you want to call it. Iso chamber, whatever they call it. Dude, cut it out. Please, we don't need no more of this, man. Like, I'm, Listen, we went through that with the Wilder fans. And then, then, then we just getting over the crying from the Errol Spence fans. All the excuses they made. You get what I'm saying? Just to come back to this, I can't, I can't take it no more. And it's the same group of people. The Spence fans and the Wilder fans are the same group of people. They come from the same Boston community. They follow the same school of thought, the land of Wakanda, right? So come on, man. Just cut it out. Let the man take the L. He lost. We know Wilder can't box. Everyone know that. And if he can't land the right hand, he ain't got nothing. And when he fought Joseph Parker, he landed the right hand a couple of times. Guess what? It did nothing to Joseph Parker. Nothing. Did you get what I'm saying? So it's over with. He had his run. He, if, I'm, if I'm Wilder, I would get on my knees and beg Anthony Joshua for a payday. Because you had a chance to get that fight years ago. You admitted it. I have the receipt. Well, you said you do know that um, I was offered more money to fight Joshua than I was uh, to fight you. But, but, I, but, but, um, but I did keep my word as a man. And I'm fighting you again. Remember you told Deontay, Deontay Wilder? Remember you told Tyson Fury that? I had a receipt. You still got the tweet up. I had a receipt. Did you get what I'm saying? So so it is what it is, man. 
You admitted that you had you you was offered more money to fight Anthony Joshua, and you turned that fight down. So now, I would beg Joshua for another fight. You're gonna get paid less money though, more than likely. You're gonna get paid less money because you messed up, bro. I don't know who was advising you, Shelly Finkel, uh, Al Heyman, but bro, they messed you all up. You left all that money on that hundred and something million dollars on the table. It is what it is, man. Take the L, you lost. Joseph Parker beat you. Listen, um, Shelly Finkel, stop making excuses for your boy. It's over with. He had a good run. He's rich. He made a lot of money, but he can't box. It's over. He's done. Stick a fork in him. Let him go back to the PBC diet. Go back to Al. Get some more C-class or D-class fighters. But other than that, he's not going to beat anybody elite in, in, uh, in the sport of boxing. He, you know, he's a shot fighter now. Um, he's scared to get hit. You know, the, the, uh, the three fights that he had with Tyson Fury took a whole lot out of him, and he's just not there anymore. It is what it is. No footwork, don't know how to throw a jab, and don't even know how to set his right hand up to land the right hand anymore. See you guys on the next one. Hate, like, share, and subscribe. You know my motto. Don't meet me there, beat me there. Peace. Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go.